too many agents I see online are neglecting one major aspect of listing a property for sale. Have you noticed too? Hi everyone, Gary Bagel here from Century 21 Heritage House in Kitchener. I'm sure you all have noticed because it's one of the most common comments about particular properties, the photos. Bad photos are an instant conversation starter. You initially wonder how someone hasn't noticed this awful photo. Then you wonder, do they know but just don't care? I know my sellers are regularly checking Realtor.ca for when their property hits the market, and I'm sure they're not the only ones. So they are definitely aware of what the listing looks like when it goes up. Who would think that some of these photos are acceptable? And I'm not just talking about the weird pictures like the Clown House of Brantford or other weird collections, but more so just poor photos. Fingers in frame, people in the background, out of focus, poorly lit, etc. In the same way when you take pictures with friends or family, you're very selective when it comes to which ones are allowed to go on the internet. Agents should take the same tack when it comes to listing photos. As an agent, it's certainly a bit of schadenfreude as you see a house so poorly marketed. And I'm not quite sure why agents even continue to do it. A professional photographer isn't expensive. It may only cost one to $200 to photograph a house for sale. Photos are one of the chief marketing aspects these days, so why not make them look good? Now, admittedly, not every property for sale needs them. Some interiors are beyond repair and professional photos won't help. And some properties are currently tenanted, so they aren't even allowed to take interior photos. But when photos are allowed, the wide array of photos that are doing a disservice to the sale of the home is baffling. Where the room is too dark or too bright or the framing is awful or it's shot vertically instead of wide or the dogs in the background or the owner or that you can see the agent in the mirror using their old Nokia phone taking pictures. By and large, professional photos should be a non-starter. The craziest thing is that I've seen some of these on homes selling for well over a million dollars. Assuming the agent takes home a reasonable commission could be around $20,000. You can't spare a hundred or two to get proper photos done. Professional photos should be an automatic inclusion in an agent's marketing plan. So be sure you're asking realtors about this when you're interviewing them. A good photographer will also help stage the shots a bit better as well to help you get the most attention. It should take an hour or two to get the best possible photos. So if your agent takes five minutes taking one-handed photos with their old iPhone 4, you're missing out. I'd want to know where all that commission I'm paying is being spent, if not on professional photos. But I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have on the subject, but that's it for this week. So don't forget to like and share this video. And until next time, I'm Garrett Verbakel with Century 21 Heritage House in Kitchener.